Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? Can we have an open conversation about one of the craziest things that's going on today in modern day beauty salons? And that is, what would make you patronize somebody that is not willing to wash your hair? Like, y'all don't think that's crazy? I'm not going anywhere where somebody is telling me that I have to come with my hair washed. Number one, that is a clear indication that you don't have your cosmetology license. And if you do, you would know that it's literally against the law to provide services for anyone who hasn't had their hair shampooed. What makes people like, and, and, and I get that you might like the way this person does hair and all of that, but Shampooing your hair is the most important part of the service. Like as far as, you know, making sure that your client's scalp is clean. That's when you do like your introduction or, you know, you talk to your client, you know, find out what they want, whatever have you. And if you're working with the assistant, you normally, you know, find out if they've been having any scalp issues or whatever. Like y'all are literally skipping, like that's a part of the consultation process. So like, how does it work when you go into a salon and people are literally just starting your hair? Like, and also as a stylist, like, you're not scared to put your hands in somebody's hair that you literally don't know. Like, you just don't know. So automatically, you should just wash somebody's hair. Like, even if you said that, you know, you didn't wash your hair or you washed your hair uh, last night. I'm not even going to take the risk. I'm going to wash your hair at least once just to make myself feel comfortable. So like literally you're comfortable with braiding up and working on somebody's hair that's not clean. Also, clean hair plays a factor in how your hair is going to turn out. The products you use play a factor in how your hair is going to be pressed out and how it's going to look after you press it out. It's so many factors in regards to why shampooing your client is important. So why is that part of the process being skipped? Like what's happening? That's very, very, very confusing to me. So um, if you go to a salon that they don't wash your hair, drop down in the comments and give us the spill. Like, let me know. Cause I, I, I find it to be so crazy. And especially if you're spending upwards of like $250, like some of the wig installs or, you know, two, $300. You mean to tell me you're spending that kind of money and you're not even getting a basic wash like included in that $300 that you're paying to get your hair put on? That just rubs me the wrong way. And I just couldn't spend my money like that. But if you are a stylist and you don't offer shampooing services. Why? And why do you think that's okay? Like, let's open up the uh, open up a dialogue about this because that's like super crazy. To me, it's just not, it, it, it makes absolutely no sense. I am a retired stylist from Philly. I have quite a bit of work and a, quite a bit of information that I have personally put out there in regards to the beauty industry, if you are interested, I have braiding classes. I have books that'll help you pass your cosmetology exam if that's the part of this game that you're in at the moment. I also have a book called How Should I Get My Hair? And it's basically like the guide to Black women's beauty. So make sure you check those things out. I will put links in the description box. And also, you might as well stick around because I do all types of stuff on this channel in regards to women, DIYs, conversations, and just everything under the sun. So thank you for watching this video. Remember to keep that rah-rah over there on the other side because we're going to do that over here because I can rumble and I will find you sliding up. <laughs> but, you know, keep the comments respectful and I will not respond to anything, anybody that's being disrespectful, but you will.
be invited to the block party.